Five seconds remaining. Else looks like the the really in you know you can see Picard's there as well. You can't even see him because he's like so close to the screen concentrating. Um, but it looks like we might get a little bit of action coming out on these runes. Do they want to step up onto this one? E.g., it's going to be maybe a four v four. Like, like comes out with the push away. They're actually going to be able to snatch that one. Do they get any more from this now as well? Because it looks like Pure taking a lot of damage. Maybe just a little bit too lax now as well with the Stormhammer coming through and Pure will go down. So they're going to be able to get the first blood out of this one. E.g., great start for them. That is not the game. Uh, so nighttime finally comes in. We see a good TP here. GPK level five. This could be a good kill. Yeah, they're gonna try and go for this now as well. Three heroes stacking up. GPK, the magic missile is gonna fly in. GPK, can he get himself out of this one? He absolutely can't. And C Smile, he's gonna take some tower damage, but he caught out there. The damage with the double engine toting is way too strong. And you know, he's actually getting a lot of farm here. Yeah, it's all these mud golems, you know, they're not really too scary on their own here. But the magic missile comes out here, the oh ammo comes through. Lord. They just delete save. Yeah, the minus armor for both the Pango and the and the Avenge makes it just fine. Working towards his treads. And yeah, I think he's really not gonna have to worry about uh, Sven anymore. Good jump yeah. on GPK. Magic Missile though, gonna stop him in his tracks here. Does he wanna carry on going through the ball lightning? Does come through, save's gonna be here. Just gonna give him some of that back. The Fisher connects here. And Panda, so he's gonna be troll. taken down. Uh, oh. Yeah, he made that rotation down, the, being matched by the, the Storm on the map. So, one for one, you really don't want to give up your carry for a support, though. Yeah, you really don't want to. They, they were going for that D-War, so GPK felt forced to react there and couldn't TP to the bottom side of the map. So definitely a win for EG Tokyo. as Whisper, level 7. Oh, he definitely yeah. got a lot out of the lane ever since nighttime came. And like you said, the end of the first night, you know, you start to rotate around, look for the pressure being put on on Whisper. Use a blade that he's working on there, I think it is. We're gonna see more contests for the runes. There's gonna be the drive back in now as well, but the magic missile comes out. Swatch buckle, GPK. He actually wants to go into the Dawnbreaker. There is gonna be the blinding light pushback here. And Matthew, we're in the middle of three heroes. GPK might be able to find it. He does. Gets that last right click with the ball lightning going. So he's gonna be able to get the proc off, but he might be in trouble. Oh, no mana. Use a blade. He does he get himself out of this one? It looks like he's gonna be able to use the bottle though. The chase comes on. Sea smile is gonna be underneath the tier one and now the tier two tower. And he's just being kited around and pure gets the kill onto Whisper. But C Smile still in trouble. Can he chase any more for any more? Pure underneath the tier one tower here. Picard has moved down now as well. C Smile will go down. GPK picked up a kill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jenkins would call that the Chris Drugs move. That's uh, when he <laughs> is. Uh, Come back to that after the fight is about to. It, it looks, yeah. He's got the cornucopia. He's got you know a couple of pieces there. So it's fairly close. GPK coming oh, into the room now. Starting. Sounds going to be the but the global sounds comes out right on point. It looks like Toronto Tokyo is he going to the sacrificial lamb here? He's trying to do what he can with the curses. The last words. Drop as much damage as you can before he goes down. And Storm is going to jump in. There's going to be the solar band coming out into the vortex now and a remnant. But it looks like even the rotation over from the Sven to get involved there. He's pretty much getting a free lane though. Like you say, he's what about 500 gold now. He needs to get here. himself away. Thomas Tower is going to come through. There's the nighttime even going to be used for this. Dark Ascension comes out back lines though. Toronto Tokyo is here. Is this going to be enough for Fisher? But Whisper is still going to be able to chase him down. They're wasting some time. There's going to be the silence coming through, so he's not even going to be able to interrupt this one. And it will be C Smile getting himself a fourth kill, seven kill um, overall in terms of just being in involved in kills oh in fact with this hastron now so toronto tokyo even close to the tier 2 tower this could be another kill maybe not turn it around but whisper wants to come in let's give the void coming through now as well and it looks like they've got the damage to get the kill onto toronto tokyo oh no man okay being chased down yeah underneath the tier 2 tower though matthew's gonna be taking these tower shots do they have enough to get the kill as matthew using those one charges to keep himself full health and it looks like, or at least not dead before nighttime uh, ar arrives yeah, and um, Whisper, he, he's waiting. He's oh, got a, yeah. the blink of his own. Smoke coming over. They want to take advantage of this five seconds towards night. And bet, boom. Do they back themselves away? They're even going to go fighting through him. This storm. Got to be careful. The blink in the storm hammer. He's just been the pushback. It doesn't matter. They've still got the silence on. And it looks like they might be able to go for even more save. There's going to be the Good wrong one in now as well. And it looks like, yeah, they're going to be able to take advantage of that. Get the kill onto Toronto, Tokyo. And now save won't be able to get himself away from this one. See Smile cleaning him up. Cleaning everybody up in this fight. It doesn't mean anything unless they have BKB on the shaker, yeah. right? Because you need to be able to jump aggressively and stop this night stalker but the thing is night stalker can also get a bkb and then what do you do well smile 
You get the drag back out of the global sounds comes out now as well. This is going to stop C Smile from being able to get away there. Um, didn't have the rolling thunder anyway. And they're going to be able to go for more now as well. So this is a fight back here from Bet Boom Pure. He gets himself the double kill. And I'm pretty sure Toronto Tokyo gets a good couple of um, in steals that from that as well. Yeah, nicely done. Now that they know some cooldowns are. Uh, not available for EG. They get one Q and they oh. go for another smoke. Echo is still available. Gotta be careful, Whisper. There yeah. are a lot of spells available right now. Jump in. Crippling Fear is gonna wear off now as well. Uh. You're gonna have Matthew just on the spot, but he gets caught out now by the Fisher and no way to get away from it. So there is gonna be the damage coming through and GPK. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice one there for him to pick up. And e yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Picard is moving around now. He's got that BKB. Echo Saber's out. So, I mean, he's got a decent amount of items here. Level 17, he's four levels above the troll. Picard is just having a great time in this fight. The Global Sounds is going to come out now. Going to use it to get the kill onto Sea Smile. Sea Smile goes down. Great group fight there from Burpoom to ju just group up, get the kill onto the Pangolier. In fact, Matthew, he might have gone a step too far. Maybe not seen in the nighttime, though. Yeah, Matthew is going for that uh, Grips we talked about, so. We will at least be able to handle the global moving forward. Couldn't really save his smile there. Yeah, and he is going to move himself in, I think, under some vision. Are they hunting here for a fight? They might do. You know the global sounds is down, but it's going to be the jump. The Illuminate Blast comes out, and the Storm Spirit jumps right on top of him. They do get this kill. Yeah, he was trying to bait with the mech and the wand, but the stuns were too strong and oh. barely got to press any buttons there. Whisper, though. Whisper tries to get himself in there, but the ball line had already come out from the Storm Spirit, so the Crippling Fear didn't matter. They are still able to get this kill, and the can they take down Toronto, Tokyo as well. They will get that one. Look at the wards being dropped there from Bat Boom, but they still get cleaned up. Stalker, and well, the Dawn Break has the ultimate, so that doesn't matter, but the Night I mean, Stalker they, is not here for the fight. They have a lane ward. They saw the heroes, they saw the smoke, and they're too late. See a smile. Yeah. Oh no, the global. It comes out, yeah, they're going to try and make a move on oh, Seasmile, does he want to carry on going? Rolling Thunder comes out now as well, he's going to try and get himself around here, save on the back lines, Pakaz jumps in, he's going to be able to get the Storm Hammer, one more right click, takes down save, and the oh, rest of the team now GK. are on the runaway, he does have the Aegis, yeah, but he has no mana to try and get himself out of danger, so the Vortex comes out, Aegis will be popped, and now Nightfall is going to be forced to turn and turn and fight, do they have a reveal here now as well? He pops his BKB, the dive on the back lines as well, it's still going to be the Invis going through onto Seasmile, and can they get any more from this? Look at the damage coming out onto the, st the Storm Spirit, he's just being cleaned up there, and now they're taking down both supports, can they go back for the back lines? It looks like it's going to be Pure that goes down, only the Storm Spirit survives, and it's just an absolute cleanup, they pop the Aegis as well, five kills going away of EG, and Bet Boom just could not stand up to it. B, and the, the damage, he just stacks up, and now they even get a kill onto Pure. Yeah, oof. Yeah, that fight, uh, Pure, he was on the right side of Roshan, so he couldn't really get an echo early on into that fight. He gets a solo echo on the Pango, and it did, uh, oh my god, Nightfall. He, okay, Look at the damage. The yeah, Nightfall just has to run himself away. The BKB doesn't matter when it's Pure right Moving himself around, Nightfall is going to show. Is this who they're going to jump? Because his BKB is back up if he needs it. Whisper comes in. There's going to be the Darkest Engine coming through now as well. But he's going to be stopped here by the Fisher. Just stunning him up. Global Science comes and it looks like the damage is it. Excuse me, the Global Science. There's going to be the God Strength coming through. And he's just cleaning everybody up. Nightfall's going to disappear. What was that echo? I couldn't tell you. Did the Night Stalker silence cancel the echo? Because a lot of people forget the game. To me, the, the biggest problem is that the storm and the coddle didn't really seem to play together as much as they needed to they yeah. they never really got a lot of kills it was a lot of farming in the beginning and pure it does have the eggs oh nice cancel there with the void they're gonna be able to get that kill on yeah i think that um eg they just put a lot of pressure onto the storms right you know they forced both supports to oh toronto tokyo He's just wrong place, wrong time, gets caught out, killed off, and because, yeah, you see Save, he's in the trees, he's just saying, I'm just a happy little tree. Uh, the players, I'm kidding, guys, obviously, that's just a joke, but uh, it really looks like they are outclassing Bad Boom here. I honestly felt like the dress were even, but the fact that you're doing this, oh, look at that, good jump. Yeah, they're going to try and get on the back lines, but again, the Troll Warlord, he's being manhandled. Picaz takes him down before he can get the spell off, takes down save now as well. And Picaz, he's got that BKB he's still going, GG. and GPK is out of mana. They're just going to, yeah, I mean, they can't fight into it. There's no way for them to get it now. And is it, the only question is, is it going to be a full five-man wipe? It isn't before the Ancient Pops. That was just a massive fight there. And EG, yeah, looking so dominant. And I think we have a guest panel with Effie and Jenkins. I think uh, we're going to be jumping there. Let's hear those lovely voices, those beautiful faces.
room at all yeah. for the brew. So I'm curious to see, will Whisper get a vessel? Is he going straight up Midas like we saw in the first series? Uh, I think he might just get away with a Midas, which might allow him to hit some later times. Oh, top lane. On. Oh. Panda, does he go down Panda one more right click? Yeah, Saves could be able to pick up the first blood. Sorry to drop that, but yeah, that was a, a decent pickup there coming through. And something he intends to do. I have not seen too much Morphling uh, in this patch. I think yeah. the hero, like people really knew how to play the old Morphling, this one. Uh, okay, they will get the Lion there. Overall, Batroom just getting a lot of wins in the lane, but Toronto Tokyo will fall. Is he? Yeah, okay, he was fast enough for Whisper to get that last right click off and get the kill onto Toronto Tokyo. Phoenix, you'll just move off the lane. But the Lion is sticking around here as well, just trying to make life hard. So maybe trying to make the Phoenix stick to this lane. Nightfall completely out of mana and Whisper still about half a level towards level 6, but still going to be able to bully Nightfall right back underneath this tier 1 tower. And now with Hello. the rotation coming down here, yeah, Panda, they're going to be able to pick up this kill on Nightfall. Well, I was saying he was feeling fairly comfortable. Not going to be comfortable with that. And that's big because this is a kill without Primal. Now he gets... And let's see what he's going to do. He's Nightfall actually going to go for the Morbid Mask. Right off the top there. So, Whisper's going to be coming in. Does he actually want to go for this underneath the tier 1 tower? The Storm Hammer will come out. It's going to be the Mass TP coming in now as well. But Whisper, he's holding that. It's going to be the Vortex back as well. Do they have the Blast damage? He do. Save with the Illuminate damage. So they have the burst to take him down. And Whisper maybe getting a little bit too overconfident. I mean, it's going to be four heroes on that lane. You're forcing out the TPs, but all to him. Yeah, honestly, I think he's fine with that. That is yeah. so many TPs and rotations. He still has the split, by the way, so he could come back and get a kill on this man. But now, fight for the runes, and it is top. <laughs> it always the way here as Panda's going to get dragged back into the, the Sunbeam, but do they have enough time to take him down? Blood Grenade's going to try and connect. They do get the kill. Save's going to be able to pick it up, but it will cost him the life of GPK. And Halsey Smile's going to jump forward onto save here now as well. Underneath that tier 1 tower, save. There's going to be a really nice Earth Spike, and they get the kill onto save. And they didn't even get a rune out of that. Maybe looking to just get some... He's going to be able to get the jump. He do get it. Soulbind comes out now as well. The egg has been dropped and Whisper. Is he going to be able to get himself away from this one? There's no Good split, hex. but there is going to be the Solar Guardian coming in. And they have the Earth Spike, and it's going to be out of mana here. Storm Spirit Storm, can he get himself away? The jump in, but it looks like four heroes grouping up. Spawn for it. He's going to get really darn low. And the Sunbeam not going to be able to keep him alive now as well. The Illuminate damage comes through. Whisper, he's going to be able to get a kill on to Toronto Tokyo. That was a bet. Boom, jump, and they lose too. And the oh, Nightfall. Does he see him? He... He's away. Okay, he's away. Okay, all right. Close. Very close. The other side, though. Yeah, and in fact, GPK got the Whisper Room from the other side now as well. The Solar Guardian comes out, GPK. Just trying to do what he can, waste a little bit of time here. Dream Core will be used. There's going to be the Spirit Vessel, but the, the Ravage, Ravage comes through. It connects the Meteor Hammer now as well. It get used, but he's still going to kill onto GPK Pure. Can he get himself out of this one? You've got five heroes, and look at how long it takes them to take down the giant Watermelon. He does eventually get carved up there, but it went back into the lane here, trying to just defend this Tier 1 tower. Um... You, you can see that the three cores here from the side of EG just behind the Sven in terms of net worth, but they are stepping up now. Could it be a big jump in? Can they get the drag back onto Panda Panda with the Soul Bind on him now as well? It takes a lot of damage, but there might be some revenge coming out because GPK Watch used that. pretty much all of his mana here just to get on top of it. So the Spirit Vessel damage, and Matthew cleans him up. Pure. He's a big tanky boy, but can they take him down here? Back line. Sunray's going to come through. Stormhammer's going to be in now as well. Nightfall. He's online. He's ready to get involved, and they do get the kill onto the Panda. Toronto Tokyo will go down. Pekaz taking a lot the damage dream call has been used nightfall he's taking low to the spirit vessel but does he want to carry on going he has that mask of madness so he's gonna be playing around this has his bkb up though if he needs it and they do go towards toronto tokyo so smoke's gonna break gpk might be showing dream call comes oh, out they find a storm they do he's gonna be behind rock so he's gonna be able to get himself away from this one he's gonna be silenced up no they take him down in the finger matthew just throws out the finger to secure the kill and the phoenix using the supernova it won't be in range now toronto tokyo could be in trouble here even the neutral ancients getting involved chase comes out whisper he wants to go for this one the ghost strength comes out the storm hammer and matthew will be absolutely deleted there is a ravage available here but whisper with the split and they're going to come through this phoenix can he get himself away the four staff comes out toronto tokyo on the high ground it looks like the sven he was getting involved but there will be the tornado to push him up into the air and do they want to go for more because again the split will be wearing off oh, is he going to be able to get himself away here whisper was that storm hammer anything to connect whisper going to be slowed down solar bind comes through the illuminate damage now as well nightfall storm hammer and the meme hammer they're all going to be here these hammers being dropped on top of this and just look how much time as well whisper is being wasted there because he just couldn't find the angle to get the kill for the lion the puck to get on top of him yeah and 
we're seeing that maybe he does. He, I mean, he's already got that orchid being built, but maybe he does want to get a link to this. And though he's going to be hunted, he is going to be caught. And GPK gets himself a second kill on the board. When Sven looks amazing, when he jumps in, he kills everyone. If you're not as far ahead, you know, people stay at 10% HP, those four steps connected. Wait a second. We're going to try and go on to Matthew. Did they get the kill onto the line? The line is going to get deleted though. Toronto, Tokyo securing the kill just to make sure he definitely does go down here. See, he's by himself, but TG, he don't necessarily know about it. It looks like the storm spread's going to old Matthew. You've got to be careful though. Make sure you don't get oh. solos. <laughs> just your the... standard carry player. The support's like, wait, wait, wait. I I'm just, I'm going to get out. Solo. Um, but it, yeah, Ramsey's just wasn't bothered about supports, and uh, um, Roger died about. Nightfall. Why? Is I think that's going to jump in. They do. I got caught monologuing the a nightfall. They get the kill onto C Smile. Really good jump in from a distance. Yeah, the Shadow Blade debut, taking Chris Smile mm -hmm. by surprise. He even has a ward there in the for the um, span coming over instead of something like the blink dagger. You know, both being used to close the gap, but usually you do see that blink turn into a swift blink. Morpheus gonna get involved. Does he get five heroes in here? Because is he gonna push everybody out? They still don't have a puck for a couple of seconds here, and I think it was just the the pure shock of this. The split comes out, so the storm hammer. It was actually Morphlin still in the Sven's form. Do you want to get back into the pit here? The smoke is up. You've got that tornado going though onto the Titan. The Titan doesn't have a blink, so he's gonna to have to waddle himself into this one. If he wants to get a ravage off from Whisper, the unsplit will be coming out soon here from this panda. He's gonna be going right back to that brewmaster form in the next couple of seconds. Matthew for the finger though. Do they get the damage? The ravage comes out, and that's gonna be the reconnect. There is gonna be the solar guardian coming in though. Look at the cleave coming through from the Sven. The damage. Nobody's dead. Well, Storm Spirit is dead now as well. It looks like they're going to try and get this damage because he's getting pretty down low. The Meteor Hammer comes through. It looks like Whisper. Does he get himself out of this one? With the help of Matthew, he does that Earth Spike. Going to try and buy him some time. Whisper. And now they're going to be able to get he's the out. kill onto Panda. Matthew, can he survive with the rest of his team? Apart from the Dawnbreaker, but we don't mention this. And that's going to be a long fight. But only trading the Storm Spirit out for the Dawnbreaker and maybe giving up this Aegis. This looks like Matthew. Does he want to get brave and go back into this one? That's going to be the pop on Roshan. A couple of seconds. He gets himself in. Oh! Oh, kill. He just he gets Holy the shit. He gets the steal, Matthew. He is just great bait, mate. Eight out of eight. He gets everything from this. And yet, yeah, Boom, they respect him. They throw him the tips. He gets dead in the end. But he steals everything from Bat Boom. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of scaling with their supports, right? Kikoto can get a side of vice. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, did he want to go for this one? It looks like the jump comes in. Whisper, he wants to try and go for it. They've got that reveal now as well. Solar Guardian comes through. Toronto Tokyo is going to be in the middle of it. Going to be able to dive himself away from it. Nightfall now as well. Solar Guardian will land only onto the Sven. And Sven's going to have that BKB. They get the kill on to save. Are they going to try and chase for any more? Because he's got that Sven form coming out. And oh, now the, the egg, egg has been dropped. But he's going to be cracked straight away. Yeah, makes a mess here, this Phoenix. And they're even going to be able to get himself in from Nightfall. Nightfall in that Silver Edge was a reveal. It looks like GPK is trying to dive himself out away as well just leaving nightfall to his fate and nightfall he's got that tp does he get himself out of this one's gonna be the waveform coming in and oh. get the right clicks but no stun to follow up and the sven will be away well items you know he's he's anything else is a bit of a bonus to him smoke here do they want to go the broken by sismile yeah sismile on the high ground is going to try and get the jump it doesn't actually go for the dream call just going to try and get that jump away pipe has been popped here smoke whisper the d wards do come through who gets it first <laughs> well they both get it at the same time Okay, so they're just gonna fill each other up here with Perfect Radiance. Very hard to bring down. Do you think, yeah, the, the Meteor Hammer's gonna hammer. land over the Hex. They're not gonna be able to get the Storm Hammer coming out. Gets the Hex onto the Sven. The Sven throws out his BKB, and now there's gonna be the Sto Solar Gun coming through. Right clicks now as well, but you've got that Yule Setter on the Perks. He's smart, trying to get himself away from this one. Sunray doing a lot of damage to Vortex Drag Back. They get the Perk. He's gonna be first blood in this fight. And they even take down Whisper on the Brew, even split formed. He's gonna be put into a little more chunks. You know, the Sven cleaving right through him. And that's two good kills here. Seeing is very awkward for EG. Yeah. There's a lot of dis disengage. Oh, <laughs> oh save. He could be in trouble here. Glimmer Cape comes out. Do they have a reveal? He's going to try and use that blind and like for the push away. Whisper on the chase, though. Save. Is he wasting time? Finger's going to be there now as well. Save. He's got that spirit vessel charge on him. He's just wasting time. Three, four. Is it all of the heroes? Yeah. Pretty much everybody. They are going to be able to go through the twin gate, though, if they want to. I mean, Roche has not in the top, so the buyback comes through from save take it away and this one's going to be easier for EG to secure but it looks like they are going to be the ones to secure it. Yeah they're going to pop the pandas here just to hold down the tight hunter in place. This is not too fast though. They're yeah. fighting very far away from Roshan right now. 
Look at this. Matthew's gonna be... They do get that Aegis out, but Matthew looks like he's gonna be dismantled. No! Oh. They don't get the kill. He's gonna be taken down in the end. The split's about halfway through now as well. You still have the uh, the damage coming through. Ravage isn't available just yet, though. Pure. Trying to do what he can. The buyback comes through from the line. They want to get into this fight. GPK is gonna be able to get the stun. Look at that Meteor. Oh, oh that's a really God. good storm hammer. It pops the Aegis and the Solar Guardian. Not enough to keep them alive. Did they time the egg right? Aegis. It's gonna be into the pop, maybe, but the wave will him away. Because he's gonna be able to run from this one. And it looks like the Roshan is the curse at the minute. Lincoln Sphere is going to be broken here, but the right click, so will the Morphling. Silver Edge for that extra damage. He's going to try and take to the Sven's form for that Stormhammer coming through. And I don't think he's going to be able to survive through this one. Does he get the TP? Anything to cancel this one? The Hex will cancel the TP out, and all of a sudden, Akaz, it goes from great to awful here. That's the, but the TP completes in time here. Throwing the God Strength up, that wasn't able to get the kill off the Vortex, so he grabs onto three heroes. What else can he get from three this heroes. one? Because the Sunray coming through, the Egg gets broken, though. Toronto, Tokyo's dead, and GPK just has to BKB TP out of that one. Wow. Now, even though the Void yeah. of is relatively minor, the momentum is all inside the back and just be fresh with that device which makes it fighting really hard. Honestly, I'm not sure how EG can take them. Uh, uh, they need to split Phantom somehow. Big jump. They're going to be able to get the silence off now as well into the Brewmaster. Brew can get himself away from this one. The Hex comes out the Undisc, but it's going to be the second Hex. And then oh hexes my god! Hex is on Hex is on Hex is. He gets that split off though. Look at this Fen. He's going to try and cleave through this one. He does get stunned up. Now he's using that BKB. Back lines. It looks like Panda. He might be the sacrificial lamb. He does get taken down. Nightfall is godlike here. The jump comes in though. They found him. Ravage, oh, did he have Morphling? the control onto the Morphling? The Morphling, I think he had that shield ring coming out now, but the double Ravage comes through. He just gets taken up. Art here, three heroes dead, and Bat Boom. They can just wander into the the dire base and say, you know, this is ours now, and you have to force us out. And look at this, the, you've got the Dawnbreaker just trying to get the D-Ward out here because trying to do what he can to just get himself around this fight, not be seen out. Whisper doesn't have the split up just yet on the Panda Burr, but it looks like they want to go for a little bit more here. So, Roshan is back up. It's that refresher shot now as well. Pakaz, Lincoln gets broken. Did he get the kill? It's good with the Stormhammer. He has that BKB. And save gets cleaned up if he needs to, though. He can buy back into this fight. And there's a TP. It's going to take him a little bit of time to get through the tier 2 tower to the Roshan pit. But they want to go for this one. Whisper, Nullify comes out. The Hex is going to be dragged in by the Harpoon. Straight up deleted. Solar Guardian. What Solar Guardian? He is dead. And now it might be the jump to his death here, Panda. And it looks like. Can he get himself away from this one? The Nullify comes out once again. Was that drag back? Do they even need the drag back? Matthew, he takes down save. That's a dieback on the Keeper of Light. But they've already lost two heroes here. Jump in, Lincoln gets broken. Hex comes out onto the Morphling. Can they go for any more of this? What's that storm hammer? Well, it's going to be the Yule Scepter coming out onto the spam, but they've got the drive back from the Vortex here. And the Hurricane, excuse me, the Harpoon comes in and they delete the Morphling. I wouldn't be surprised just to see them rush down, try and take tier fours here because the tier, I mean, the tier fours are already been pressured. They're just going to give it the GG here, EG. For EG, I think they, they played the early game so well. Oh, oh okay. I mean, sure, they're, they're celebrating the route with the chairs. Yeah, they're, they're happy, but the, the pause just delayed it a little bit. And uh, 